Today is World AIDS Day, and this year, looking back is especially poignant. Yeah, KPI x Files Kit Doe on how HIV research helped pave the way for science and the fight against COVID-19. It's quite remarkable when you think about it. We have been battling AIDS for the past 40 years. And on a day like today, it begs the question, are we going to be battling COVID another 40 years from now? It's become even more important than ever to celebrate our victories over illness and death and division. This is the 33rd World AIDS Day, one like no other. A time of remembrance of those lost to one disease while currently fighting another. Dr. Sarah Rudman leads the effort against HIV in Santa Clara County and says, today's vaccine technology was actually decades in the making. The scientific advancements we saw that have helped us come so far in COVID where we have safe and effective vaccines available to everyone, those advancements were built on the backbone of investment in HIV research over the last 40 years. You're good. Another lesson learned from the AIDS fight equity, making sure everyone, rich, poor, young, old, are treated the same. Is that straight from the HIV playbook? Absolutely. The exact same populations who were disproportionately hit by HIV for year after year, especially communities of color, we saw hit again by COVID. And that's one more reason why, in addition to advancing our scientific knowledge and making sure everyone has access to those interventions, we have to battle the inequity itself. And if we think two years is a long time for COVID, look at 40 years for HIV and we're still fighting it. Dr. Marty Fenstershive was on the front lines four decades ago and he's still here. Do you think that we'll still be battling COVID 40 years from now? To me, it's like the flu. I think it's going to be around for quite some time. I don't see it ending, uh, but I think we'll be living with COVID. So we'll probably get booster shots on a regular basis down the road. So it'll be part of our lives, I think, for some time. I think the work we've done in the last 40 years to battle HIV that have taught us to trust science, to make rapid advancements, to invest in our public health infrastructure, and to share information widely as soon as we have it, are going to to carry us through the next 40 years so that we're not only having different conversations about HIV and COVID, but the next disease we have to battle, we're even more prepared to handle. In San Jose, Kitto, KPIX 5.